Hey everybody, Daniel Fusco here and welcome to today's two minute message. So I love the fact that here in the Pacific Northwest, it's been sunny out in the midst of this time of quarantine. You know, the sun's just been out. Normally we get a lot, a lot, a lot of rain in the spring, but it's been beautiful. You notice uh, my lawn, so green. Now, wh why is this important? Because the Bible says that we should keep our hearts with all diligence for out of it springs the issues of life. And that comes from the book of Proverbs chapter four, verse 23. Really what that means is that each one of us is responsible for taking care to guarding our own heart. When I think about my green lawn, there's a lot of things that I have had to do in order to get it green. Things like fertilize it. Obviously there's enough water, there's sunlight. You need to make sure that all these things are taken care of so that something can blossom in the way that it wants to. And here's the question that I have for you today. How are you doing keeping your own heart? What are you allowing to grow there that shouldn't? I mean, my lawn is green right now, but like I've had to go through Take, get, get rid of the, the weeds in there, all these different things that you do. And we have to make sure no one is going to guard your heart for you. That is a gift that God has given to you that he wants you to take care of. And I believe that for all of us, every single day of our life, it's, it's an opportunity for us to guard, to keep our own hearts with all diligence because all of the issues of life spring out of our heart. Doesn't mean that we have control over everything, but we realize that we have control how we're gonna respond to whatever it is that life brings us. And only you can guard your own heart. And as the spirit of God dwells in you through your faith in Jesus, he will lead you in the right ways to keep your hearts, that your heart might be fruitful. So what I do, I want you to share this message so that we can all, all everyone we know can start working on the guarding of their hearts. And in the comment section, tell me this, what are you doing to make sure that your heart is guarded so that whatever the issues of life that spring up, you will be in a great spot in the name of Jesus. God bless you today.